we are going to discuss about Simon Nyachai. Simeon Nyachai. I have tried to find his real name, but I'm unable to find. The name Nyachai is a nickname that stuck. Just like Johnston Kamau, the name Kenyatta stuck. Nyachai has to do with the introduction of tea in Kisi land. So he is associated with tea. Nyachai means mtu wa chai in Kikisi. Uh, he, he was the son of Musa Nyandusi. Musa Nyandusi was the chief of the Nyaribare people between 1926 until 1963, 1962, 1926 up to 1962. Towards the end of his tenure as the chief of Nyaribare, Musa Nyandusi was the chair of the African District Council for South Nyanza. South Nyanza today, initially South Nyanza included the two Kisi counties, that is Nyamira and Kisi, and it also included Kericho and Bomet. And it included, but uh, later on when Kericho and Bomet went to form Kericho district in Rift Valley and Kisi and Nyamira went and formed Kisi district, South Nyanza remained to be Migori and Homa Bay counties of today. So, Musa Nyandusi was the chair of the African District Council, which in today's geographical means, Homa Bay, Migori, Kisi, Nyamira, Kericho, and Bomet. He was the chair of that. It is alleged that Musa Nyandusi, the father to Simeon Nyachai, had a hundred children. Nyachai joined the civil service as a revenue clerk in 1954. He became a revenue clerk after teaching at Kegati Primary School as an untrained teacher. People of my age do know people who are called UTs, untrained teachers. We had two types of UTs up to my time. We had Form 6s who were going to the university and they were UTs in secondary schools. We had people who had completed Form 4 and either were looking for other jobs or would, want, would end up as teachers but they started off as untrained teachers in primary school. Now, Musa Nyandusi, after completing uh, his secondary school in Kisi High School, he became a UT, an untrained teacher, at Kegati Primary School. And then, if you talk to him even up to his last days on earth, uh, Simon Nyachai wanted to be a teacher. But he had a domineering father who insisted that he joined the civil service. So he joined the civil service as a revenue clerk with a salary of 128 shillings. Among the people who joined the civil service as a revenue clerk at the same time 
as Simeon Nyachai was Robert Ouko. Then in 1959, Simeon Nyachai went to London and studied for diploma in administration. After completing his diploma as an ad in the administration, he was employed in what later was called provincial administration as an assisted administration officer in Ukwala. Assistant administration officer at Ukwala. These are some of the ranks that were later uh, abolished. And he was working under Amzungu district officer in Ukwala. But you know that this is the time when Kenya was headed to independence. And this, some of these Wazungus, if you have talked to those people, Africans who are going to take over from Wazungus after independence, they'll tell you that these Wazungus didn't want to train upcoming Africans with the hope that the independent country will retain them for some time. So he worked under a very hostile British deal. Some people have worked in divisions where you find there is DO2 and DO1. Now, assistant administration officer, you could call him a DO2. When he saw that his work, he, 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 the, the Mzungu was not teaching him his work, he resigned after three months. He resigned after three months and was employed as a labor relationship officer with the East African Breweries Limited. His father was not happy. And you see, Simon Nyachai died in old age having never tasted alcohol. But as a senior officer in the East African Breweries, every week he used to be given a crate of beer. So he used to take it to his house, and his friends would come, take, exchange the beers with empty bottles so that he takes back a, an empty crate with empty bottles to the East African breweries. He worked there as a labor relationship officer and the salary was very good. But his father, who was domineering, <laughs> and you see Nyachai was also domineering, went and made a delegation to see uh, him at Ruaraka. He said that he did not want to work with the civil service. After all, he was working with the East Africa breweries where the salary was high. But Paramount Chief Musa Nyandusi had other plans. He went there with several European DCs where Nyachai was told, if you still want to work for the East African breweries, well and fair. But we have taken you, the, the provincial administration. What later came to be known as provincial administration wants all the fees that they paid for your education. As far as administration is concerned, you are to pay on the spot. He could not afford it. So he was... He, he decided to go back to civil service as a deal. And he was transferred to Kangundo. Kukuito kwe akamba. Anduma Kangundo mweaseo. So he was taken there as a deal. Then in 1962 and 63, he went back to London, this time to Cambridge University where he studied for a bachelor's degree in administration. Coming back, he was posted to Nyandarwa as the district commissioner. When he worked in Nyandarwa as a district commissioner, 
magushi ega eh thigare ushoge tiko he was he worked in nyandarwa as a dc for seven months only and then out of the 42 district commissioners in kenya he was the the one whom uh, tomboya talent spotted him and identified him as a hard working person and a point and, and 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 he was transferred to nairobi to work under tj boya tomboya in the in in preparing the jamhuri the jamhuri celebration he was given an helicopter where he would tra- travel all of, throughout kenya with that helicopter uh, organizing uh, for the jamhuri day celebration that was 1964 december we, we jamhuri day was december 12 1964 then after that he was posted to nairobi as a dc you know by then nairobi was headed by a dc so he he was taken to nairobi as a dc where he took over from bill martin who is bill martin bill martin was a kalenjin a kipsigis you may have noticed among the kipsigis we have kina kiptum arab manyinya and so on for reasons that i do not know but we have so many mulatos among the kipsigis so bill martin was a kipsigis and he was the district commissioner in nairobi nairobi was an extra extra district because all other districts fell under a pc a provincial commissioner but nairobi was a special district which was headed by a dc but it was not under any district uh, i under any provincial commissioner that was in 1966 then my head is not remembering very well but i think around 1968 or 69 nairobi was upgraded to be made a province without districts so he was the first di- provincial commissioner of nairobi when he was the provincial commissioner in nairobi 1965 uh up to ni- 1969 up to 1972 he was uh, taken to be the rift valley provincial commissioner around 1970 and then in 1972 he went all the way to kacheliba in west pokot kacheliba is also known as karapokot it is called karapokot because that was the pokot land that was in karamoja area i mean This was Kenyan land which was being administered by the Ugandan government. So Ugandan government surrendered Kacheliba to Kenyan government in 1972 and the and the, this, uh, the uh, Rift Valley Provincial Commissioner who went there personally to take back the sub district the Kacheliba sub district back to West Pokot district was none other than Simeon Nyachai Then uh, Simeon Nyachai was later transferred to Central Province uh, around 1974 uh, in, he stayed there in 1974 up to 1979 you remember 1974 75 up to 79 Jombo Kenyatta had out of the eight provincial commissioners six were kikuyus six were kikuyus four were from kiambu the good thing about um, daniel arab moi is that of the eight provinces seven provinces each produced a pc so that uh, it was represented but with jomo kenyatta four pcs were from kiambu Uh, there was a mahihu from karatina then there was a, i don't know what and then two two provincial commissioners uh, one was called okelo who was the provincial commissioner for northeastern and nyachai was the provincial commissioner for central province kenyatta died when nyachai was 
in Central Province. And in uh, 1979, he was transferred from Central Province and made a pro, pro, permanent secretary in the office of the president. He was working under Jeremiah Kireini. Uh, Jeremiah Kireini was initially Jeremiah Kireini was the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Defense. But when when Kenyatta died, John, uh, Daniel Arab Moi scrapped the Ministry of Defense. And uh, the permanent secretary in the uh, office of the president was Geoffrey Warithi. Geoffrey Warithi was from Kirinyaga. So Kireini was transferred from Ministry of Defense and made the chief secretary. But uh, that was short, sh shortly. He opted to go to Kenya breweries. Kotodoko Kwena Bianyi Gemono. And uh, the person who took over as the chief secretary in July 1984 was Simon Nyachai. Uh, between 1980, when he was the, there is something that people do not know. There is something that people do not know. Abagusi moko manyete kweli. This is the thing that the constitution, 20 constitutional. 2010 constitution is a, a, a devolution uh, constitution. And the father of that one was none other than Ronald Gideon Gala, who came up with his Majimbo. The second person who was for the devolution was Simon Nyachai, who brought in the district focus for rural development. He is the one who came up with the district focus for real development. I remember in 1986, he came to West Pokot to teach us about district focus for real development. And if you look for a person like me, who, who, who was in the district focus for real development, and, and, and I look at the current uh, county government things, they heavily borrows from the district focus for real development. Any slight development during that time, it used to be decided it from Nairobi. But when he came up with the district focus for real development, that is when we came up with the district development committee, and we had even the sub-district development committee, where things could be discussed in the sub, which were now in the division chaired by the DC, and we had somebody called assistant development officer, uh, who was in charge of a division, who was the secretary of sub-district development committee. And the district development committee used to be headed by the district commissioner. The secretary was a person who was called CDO, Community Development Officer, who was now overall in the, cant in the district. And uh, he's, he's the person who used to assist him in the division is called... Assistant Development, ADO, Assistant Development Officer. That is the biggest role that Nyachai played in the civil service. Then in 1987, he retired. Uh, that is Nyachai, the civil servant. Maybe I will come up with a second now talking about Nyachai, the politician. But Nyachai, as the civil servant, he played a big role and he should be saluted. Thank you, Nyachai. You played a very big role. Kenya will never forget you. Thank you.